And now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast. All right, checking in back on that forecast, meteorologist Andrew Salmon joining us from the Weather Center. We're talking about that severe weather outlook over the next couple days. Andrew, what do we need to know? All right, Joe, so we are tracking that risk for severe thunderstorms as we head into the day today. Now, damaging wind gusts over 70 miles per hour looks to be the primary concern here, but we also have a threat for significantly large hail as well. That is highlighted in the purple area. Significant hail is defined here as hail at least two inches in diameter, which is about the size of a hen egg or uh, twice the size of a quarter. Uh, again, that's in the pink area from Mineola down to Tyler and includes Athens and Palestine. Again, that type of hail can obviously do some serious damage to vehicles. So if you have a carport or garage, uh, today's a good day to keep uh, your car in there. Of course, never leave a car running uh, in the garage. But again, that goes without saying we are going to see these showers and thunderstorms really fire up as we head into the afternoon. So here's what Futurecast has. You can see by three o'clock uh, widespread shower and thunderstorm development. Kind of a, a messy storm mode out there. And a lot of these storms will be uh, competing for the strongest uh, cell here. So that's definitely something we'll have to watch closely. But if one of these can become more isolated and strengthened, then uh, large hail would be the primary concern here, followed by, uh, again, damaging straight line wind gusts. Now, a tornado cannot be entirely ruled out, but the threat for that is pretty low uh, with this system. By 6 o'clock in the evening, we will see widespread thunderstorms still pushing across the area. So be prepared for a potential stormy commute back home from work, uh, especially during the 5 to 8 o'clock hour. We'll see those showers and storms pretty widespread across the area. And then as we head into your nighttime hours by 10 o'clock, we could start seeing some line segments starting to develop and we'll have to watch any of these storms for that backwards uh, C shape there. Uh, that is called a, uh, a bow echo, which is typically a sign of some stronger uh, wind gusts. Again, this is just what future cast shows it may not necessarily play out this way. It just gives us an idea of how these storms will develop and what they will look like. And the look of the storms can have a huge impact on on how these storms will be uh, moving across the area and what kind of impacts they will have. Now, in heading into early Friday morning, we get may get a, a bit of a break in the action, but then we'll see more showers and thunderstorms develop during Friday afternoon as the cold front stalls out just two hours north. But once the front finally moves through, we'll see additional storm development during the day on Friday. Unlikely for this activity to be severe, but it can't be entirely ruled out on Friday and then we'll dry out Friday evening. So if you have any Friday night plans, you're looking pretty good. Taking a look at Tyler with our sky view camera. We've got a lot of clouds right now. Temperature of 73 degrees with a south wind at 11 miles per hour. Uh, temperatures uh, across the board sitting out mainly in the low to mid 70s right now, so it's mild out there. We do have some uh, low 80s though over in DFW closer to where the front is, so we do look to at least warm to the upper 70s this afternoon. Uh, Many of us hitting the low 80s as well, and then we will turn cooler as we head into the weekend. Look at this highs on Sunday only in the mid 60s, well below average for this time of the year, but we will warm back up as we head into next week. But to recap our forecast for today, afternoon storms likely some of them severe with those highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s. And then for tonight, we are going to see the temperatures drop down to the middle 60s out there with storms likely still through the overnight hours. Your seven day forecast looks like this. We are going to see the uh, sunshine return for the day on Saturday, but then more rain returns on Sunday, which keeps things pretty chilly out there with highs only in the middle 60s. And then for deep east Texas and severe weather possible today and even tomorrow can't rule out an isolated severe storm in the late morning and early afternoon. For your latest weather forecast, you can head on over to our website. That is KETK.com.